blog 13. I'm looking for some. It's been okay, to be fair. Um, done very little. I had a lie in, but that's normal. Go to bed very late. Get up very late. Time relevant, irrelevant. Makes no difference what time you get up and go to bed, whatever. Uh, then I had the essential drive to my mother's. Um, caught up with her, told her the sad news about the cat. Um, she said a little prayer for her. Um, and then um, <coughs> I went shopping at Tesco in uh, Stilly Vegas. Um, not a lot really happened, but it was good to see they had a traffic light system on the door. Um, and they also had someone inside challenging people uh, who weren't wearing masks. Not very forcefully, but at least they were there. They were making the effort. So that was good to see. And then the other thing was uh, I had to drive home and I, um, I filmed that. And that was about the highlight of the day. It's not been it's not been the best day ever, but it's certainly not been the worst. I mean, Christ, I've had a worse day this week. Um, so yeah, uh, it's it's what it is, and there's not a lot we can do about it. We just have to keep plodding on and waiting for things to get better. And whether they get better or not is another thing. Uh, people, again, very rarely seem to understand the rules, uh, which is kind of annoying because people like myself, want to get back to work so that we can uh, you know, earn some money, uh, employ people and just generally do good for everyone, including ourselves. Um, people ask, why don't you do click and collect? And that's because I've never done click and collect before. I'm not going to start now. The whole point of lockdown is that people stay at home, not come out and buy something that they couldn't have bought on click and collect before. It's like, no, you come to the shop and you buy stuff, you have a route around, you buy stuff. That's what the shop's about. And if you can't do that, then... You know, you can't. Um, we're as close until we can open again. Hopefully, it'll be before Christmas, although I'm not holding out much hope, I'll be honest. Uh, the numbers and everything are not looking great at the minute. So, I think numbers-wise, mm, could be um, could be next year before we're open again. Uh, looking at doing some more um, visits um, videos. I've got a few that I've filmed and I've just not edited yet, so I need to sort that out. Got some other stuff. I need to do as well um, in the uh, daytime, for a better description. Assuming I get up when it's still daylight. So yeah, there's stuff to do, stuff to things. It's just new normal, new, new normal, new, 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 new normal. And it'll go on until it stops. Whenever that is. Still not convinced about these vaccines. I kind of think they're... Well, almost too good to be true. Uh, so, mm, and I, I won't be in the first batch anyway. So I'm, I'm still, again, I think I need to play some more zombie games just in case there's a horrible side effect where people turn into zombies. One side effect is I'm watching um, really bad TV at the minute. I even caught up with some old Coronation Street today and some old Emmerdale, including characters I've never met, uh, seen before in both because I never really watched them back in the day. Uh, there was a gun man in the McDonald's household and it turns out that uh, Steve McDonald was in prison for God knows what uh, and there was a gun man there and he was going to shoot them all and there was a big fight and they, he shot the ceiling instead and everyone lived happily ever after well as long as they do on Coronation Street which is about four episodes to be fair and then something miserable will happen to him uh, Emmerdale had no idea what was going on there was a pig that had been bought that uh, pooed on um, some guy's foot, uh, a ring. Again, not a clue. So uh, might end up following that again, or not. And then, of course, there's I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here! And I'm trying to figure out whether Jordan North is playing to the cameras, as in, he's in it to win it, or if he is genuinely the most easily scared person on the planet. Mind you, I'd be a close second if I was doing what they were doing. Although the snakes wouldn't bother me so much, he says, shaking the camera. As soon as he says snakes. Um, things like, well, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but cockroaches and spiders in particular. Don't like spiders, not a big spider fan. I don't want them crawling over my face. I don't mind wasps on my face in the summer. As long as you don't attack them, they get bored because they realise that my face is not food and they bugger off. Anyway, that's it for today. Until tomorrow, next blog.